بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وفينش يا كوتشنز 4.3 ذا مين جيت جاست كوتشنز فروم ذا بوك انكلودينغ ذا سجستد بروبلمز ذا وان سيركلز ار ذا سجستد بروبلمز اوكي سو جاست تو ريمايند يو فور ذا فيرست جروب اوف كوتشنز ات سيز وات determine whether the given vectors are linear independent or linear dependent. Okay. So what I will do, just to remind you, what are the three cases which we have about this uh, being uh, independent or independent? We look at the number of vectors and the dimension of the of the space, which is Rn, the, the number n in, in, in this space, Rn. So if the number of vectors is greater than n, for sure the vectors are linearly dependent. If the number of number of vectors is equal to n, I need to check the determinant. Huh? It's equal to zero, not equal to zero. Not equal to zero means linearly dependent. Equal to zero, linearly dependent. If the number of vectors less than n, then I will check submatrix. I will take k by k submatrix. So I will check the determinant. If it's not zero, they are linearly independent. If it is zero. There is no conclusion. We need to go back to the original way to discuss the the, the vectors are dependent or independent. OK. So let me just make the summary here. Number of vectors. First one. The greater than n, then equal n, then less than n. OK. Just to remind you, greater than n, it means they are linearly dependent right away. Number of vectors equal n, and it check the determinant, not equal to zero, implies you know, they are linearly independent. Number of vectors less than n. I need to check submatrix k by k. Okay. It's like a summary. Okay. Now let, let me do these these five problems. Number two, number of vectors two, and it's greater less than n, which is four. So I am the third case. This is one, two, three. So I am the third case. Third case. So I need to check some matrix, or since there are only two vectors, there are only two vectors. I can't check it by, by inspection. I can't check it easily. If you look at the first one, three to get two, I need to multiply by two over three. So I'm checking two over three V1. Is it V2 or not? It will be what? Two, and then, 18 over 3, which is 6, so it's correct. Minus 3, that will be minus 2, which is OK. 6, 12 over 3, which is 4. So this is V2. So they are linearly dependent. Very clear. They are linearly dependent. Number 3. The number of vectors is what? 3. And what is n? n is 2. This is R2. This belongs to R2. This belongs to R4. Huh? You know that. You know this. So this is less than or greater than n, which is 2. So right away, these are linearly dependent. I am in case 1. First case. And in this case. No need to check anything. Number 6. The vectors are what? Number of vectors, three. And they are where? This is an R3. It's equal to N, which is three. So what I need to do, I need to check now the determinant. I need to check the determinant. Okay. We know how to do the determinant. So I have, I check this determinant, determinant of, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. That give me what? Very clear. 
that will be one huh? times one, which is one not equal to zero. So for sure, these vectors are linearly independent. The vectors are linearly independent. Let me write V1, V2, V3 are linearly independent. Here, what I mean by linear independent? V1, V2, V3. Huh? Here I have V1, V2. Are linearly independent. Okay. Okay. Now let me go to number seven. How many vectors? I have three vectors in R in R four. This is in R four. So I have three vectors, which is less than n, which is four. So I'm the third case. Okay. I am the third case. What I will do? I'll take the sub matrix. Okay, see what will happen. Now, if I have V1, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, I have 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay. If I take a sub matrix, let me take this 3 by 3. See what will be the determinant. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 5, 3, 4, 7. So multiply by minus 2, the first row, and add it to the second row, that will be 0. That will be minus 1. Minus 2, that will be minus 1 also. Now, multiply by minus 3 and add, that will be 0. By minus 3 and add, that will be minus 2. By minus 3, and add that will be minus two and that give me what one two minus two which is zero so i have no conclusion we cannot conclude yeah so i need to do it the wrong way it means i need to solve the system let me give give, give a space So what are the vectors? One, two, three, four. Nice vectors. Two, three, four, five, three, five, seven, seven, nine. V one, one, two, three, four. V two, two, three, four, five. V three, three, five, seven, nine. So I need to do it the wrong way. I need to solve the system. C one, B one, plus C two, V two. Plus C three V three equals zero, which means I have I need to I need to find C one C two C three, so I have one two three four, two three four five, three five, seven nine. This is zero 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 zero. So multiply minus two R one plus R two, minus three R one plus R three. Minus four R one plus R four. See what will happen. This is zero. Minus two, that will be zero. Minus two plus two. Minus two, that will be minus one. Minus two, that will be minus one, zero. Minus three, that will be zero. Minus three, that will be minus two. Okay. Minus three. Wait a minute. No. Minus two, that will be minus one. What I did wrong here. Yeah, it's correct. So minus three, that minus nine plus seven, that will be minus two. This is zero. Now with the four, minus four, that will be zero. Minus four, minus eight plus five, minus three, minus four, minus twelve, plus nine, that will be minus three. Zero. So what I will do, multiply the second row by minus two, by minus one, to make it one. It will be easier. One, one, zero, very clear what will happen. Yeah. 
So now, 2R2 plus R3, and 3R3 plus R4. To get what? 1, 2, 3, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. This will be zeros. Yeah, and this is the same thing. 3R2, not R3, sorry. So I have these equations, C1 plus 2C2 plus 3C3, and they have C2 plus C3. So it means C2 is minus C3, plug it here. So C1 will be 1, minus 2C2, minus 3C3, and C2 is minus C3, so I have minus C3 also. Correct? Yeah. You know what, if you look at this, very clear, this plus this, give me this. So I have B1 plus B2 is equal to B3. So they are linear dependent, which is actually, this is, we're getting it from here. So now if let's, that means if C3 equal one, let's C3 equal one, so C1 would be minus one and C2 would be minus one. So I have what? Minus V1 minus V2 plus V3 equal zero, which means V3 equal V1 plus V2. Okay, also we did it, we, we, we prove it, so we can generalize the idea. But because of that, he, he said, do it by inspection, yeah, by looking. Okay, but now we're doing it in the yeah in the right way. Like if if those vectors are not easy to figure out. Okay, so eight, so they are linearly dependent. Huh? So they are. Let me write v one, v two, v three are linearly dependent. Okay, let me do number eight. Number eight, the vectors are what one three zero zero. Let me write the vector. And V2, 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 0, 5, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 7. 1, 0, 0, 7. Okay. 1, 0, 0, 7, 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0. Okay, so I have three vectors in R4. Three vectors in R4. So I need to deal with the submatrix. So I have one three zero one three zero zero one zero five zero one zero zero seven. So let me take yeah, if I take this sub matrix very clear. What will be the determinant? I need to take uh, three by three sub matrix, huh? Three by three sub matrix. You can take any 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 combination. This is just three three by three. Zero five zero 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 seven. That will be what? Fifteen times seven, which is not equal to zero. This is the most important. So right away I can conclude you know, V1, V2, V3 are linear independent. Here when I here if I do the idea. Yeah, when I do the idea of the sub matrix, where is it here? I'm getting zero, so we cannot conclude. But here I'm getting non zero, we can conclude. Okay. Now we have these problems. I need to, yeah, I need to solve for W. Express the indicated vector as a linear combination with the given vectors. If this is possible, if not, show that is it's impossible. So I want to see ten. W can be written as C one V one plus C two V two. That means what? Then we have this equation, which is seven one minus eight equals C one minus four two minus seven plus C2, 3, minus 1, 3. 
سنه تصرف بنقاس الامنيشن ماينس 4 2 ماينس 7 3 ماينس 1 3 ذيس ود بي ذا رايت هاند سايد كان يصور ذيس اكويشن اوكي وات اي ويل دو يا اي كان ديل ويز ذيس از فراكشن Let me do it with the fraction way. So I need to make this two zero. So what I will do? Or or let me divide by minus one over four. The first row. To get what? One minus three over four. Minus seven over four. Two minus one, one. It seems I need to deal with that. With the fraction. Okay, now we'll continue here. I multiply the second, the first row by two and add it to the second row minus two, sorry. And the first row by seven and add it to the third row. See what will happen. Yeah. What we will have. Multiply minus that will be zero. Okay. Minus two. By minus 3 over 4, that will be 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. Minus half, that will be half. Okay. Minus 2 times minus 7 over 4. That give me what? That give me 7 over 2. 7 over 2. Plus 1. Plus 1. Yeah. Uh, seven over two plus one, that will be nine over two. Okay. Now this one, multiply by seven and add, that will be zero. Multiply by seven, by, by seven, yes, by seven and add, that will be zero. Multiply by seven, that will be minus 21 over four, minus 21 over four, plus three, which is 12 over four, that give me minus nine over four. It's a matter of calculation, huh? So times seven and add. Times seven and add. Correct? Yeah. So it's minus 48. Minus 49. So I have minus seven over four. Let me see it here. Minus seven over four minus eight. That will be what? Minus 49 over 4, sorry. Minus 49 over 4. That give me minus 49 minus 32 over 4. That is minus 81 over 4. So this is minus 81 over 4. Okay, it's a matter of calculation. Okay, sorry. Now I can multiply the second row by 2. And also multiply the third row by four. Yeah, to make the calculation easier. So I have what? One minus three over four minus seven over four. Zero one nine. Zero minus nine minus eighty one. So now multiply the second row by nine and add it to the third row to get what? 1 minus 3 over 4 minus 7 over 4. You need to solve the equation the way the way you like it. Maybe I'm making it uh, uh, yeah detailed one, but I think you can, you can, it can be solved easily. So that means I make it what C1, C2. That means I have the equation C1 minus 3 over 4 C2 is equal to minus 7 over 4 and half C2 equal 9. C2 equal 9, plug it here. So that means C1 equal minus 7 over 4 plus 27 over 4, which is 20 over 4, that will be 5. So for sure, W can be written 5 V1 plus 9 V2. Yes, I get it now. It means W, I can write it in this way. Okay, this is question number 10. Yeah, question number 12. 
Mm. It'll be a little bit complicated. Well, the numbers are uh, four numbers. OK, let me try to do it here. Twelve. Let me write, let me write the equation right away. I want W. Which is. Five minus five, four, four to be equal C1 times V1. Which is seven, nine minus four and eight plus C2 times this. Yeah. The only problem, the numbers are a little bit complicated. Let me, let me solve the equation. I have what? 7, 9, minus 4, 8, minus 4, minus 8, 4, minus 5. I want it to equal 5, minus 5, 4, 4. Okay. Wow. Mm. I think I can deal with this one to make it easier. So multiply the third row by minus one over four. With the third row. And then exchange R3 with R1. Then. These two steps I will do it in one. So I have what? One minus one minus one. And the rest are the same. This will be seven. Minus four, five, eight, minus five, four. I don't know why they have this complicated numbers. Okay. Now I have minus nine R1 plus R2, minus seven R1 plus R3, minus eight R1 plus R4. Let me see what will happen. One minus one, minus one. Okay. This will be zero. Multiply minus nine, that will be nine minus eight, that will be one. Minus nine, that will be what? Yeah. Nine minus five, that will be four. Okay. Minus seven, that will be zero. Minus seven, that will be three. Minus seven, that will be twelve. Now minus eight, that will be zero. 8 minus 5, that would be 3. Minus 8, 8 plus 2 plus 4 is 12. So I have now minus R2 minus 3, R2 plus R3. Minus 3, R2 plus R4. It's very clear what will happen. But as I said, I'm doing it in details. 1 and 4, that will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0. So I'm getting what? C1 minus C2 is equal to minus 1 and C2 equal 4. That means what? C1 will be C2 minus 1, which is 3. So I have W is 3, V1, which is C1 plus 4, V2. That would be good. Yeah, I think it's. Easy to figure out. Okay, I think I need more. More. I have two two problems to go. Okay. So let me have more. This. Let me take problem thirteen. Thirteen. W is what? Five two minus two. And V1, yeah, that's good. One, one five minus three, and V2 is what five minus three and four. Okay, so I need W to be C1 V1 plus C2 V2. Is that possible or not? It means I need to solve this equation. 1, 5, minus 3, 5, minus 3, 4, and this is 5, 2, minus 2. Okay, so multiply the first row by minus 5 and add to the second row. Multiply the first row by 3 and add it to the third row. So let me see what will happen. Minus 5 and add, that will be 0. 
minus 5 and add, that will be minus 25, minus 3, minus 28, minus 5 and add, minus 25, plus 2, minus 23. Okay, now by 3, this is 0. 15 plus 4, that will be 19. 15 minus 2, that will be 13. Yeah. Now we divide by yeah, my divide by this number minus one over twenty-eight R two. Yeah, um, fractions, it's okay. This is zero. This is, will be one. This will be twenty-three over twenty-eight. And this is will be okay. Yeah, you will notice one thing. Now multiply by minus nineteen R two plus R three. So I have what? One five. 5, 0, 1, this is 23 over 28, 0, multiply by minus 19, that will be 0. So now we need to check, minus 19 times 23 over 28, minus 13. Yeah. Which is very clear, this is impossible to be 0. Yeah, because this is a negative, minus no, sorry, plus 13. Yeah, this is plus 13, okay. So I need to check 13 times 28 minus 19 times 23. Is it equal to zero or not? If it's not zero, we are done. We cannot write W in terms of this. So let me check 28 times 13. Yeah, put the wrong way. Three times eight, four, two, eight, a two four six three that will be three six four nineteen times twenty three very clear then not the same this is seven starting this is starting by four okay this is seven five eight one that will be three so I have seven oops three four the main point is they are not zero. So I have a value and zero. So if I write the equations, I have zero equal a value. Let me call it, uh, yeah, let me call it, uh, what is it? Capital D. So this capital D equal this, not equal to zero. Zero, I'm, I'm having the equations. If I write the equation back, I have what? C1 plus 5, C2 equal 5. C2 equal this, but the third one, I have zero equal D, but D cannot be zero. D is not a zero number. So we have here contradiction. It means what? We cannot solve this system. So there is no solution. There is no solution for the system. That means what W cannot be, we cannot write W as a linear combination of these vectors, which is what? V1 and V2. Okay. Now we'll move to the last one. I hope it will be easy. No fractions. See what will happen. 15. Yeah, I think I make a space. W158. Good. V1 minus 1, 2, 3. And V2 is what? 3, 1, minus 2. And V3, 2, 3, 0. I need to check W can be written C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3. I need to solve this system now. Okay, this system, Gauss elimination, minus 1, 2, 3. 3, 1, minus 2, 
0 with this. I make this one multiplied by minus R1. Yeah. This is one. This is minus three. This is minus one. I think I did it before. It's okay. Now multiply minus two R1 plus R2 minus three R1 plus R3 to get what? One minus three minus two. This is minus one. This will be zero. Six plus one, that will be seven. Four plus three, that will be seven. Two plus seven, so that will be seven. Yeah, I think we did it before, it's okay. That will be zero. Minus three. Nine minus, that will be seven. Minus three, six plus zero, that will be six. Minus three, that will be 11. Now, one over seven times R2. So give me what? One minus three minus two minus one. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 7, 6, 11. Now multiply minus 7, R2 plus R3. That will be 0, 1, 1, 1. Now that will be 0, minus 7, that will be 0. Minus 7 plus 6, that will be minus 1. Minus 7, that will be 4. So I have these equations, C1 equal to C1 minus 3, C2 minus 2, C3 equal minus 1, and C2 plus C3 equals 1, and minus C3 equal 4. From this one, I'm getting C3 equal minus 4. That implies C2, 1 minus C3, which is 1 minus minus 4, that will be 5, and C1 will be minus 1 plus 3C2 plus 2C3. That will be minus 1. 3C2 is what? Where is the C2? C2 is 5 plus 15. 2C2. 2C3, that will be minus 8. So we have 6. So that means W would be what? 6V1 plus 5V2 minus 4 v3 yeah yeah by the way always we can check huh? always you can check plug v1 plug v2 plug v3 check multiply by 6 5 check if this is w or not also in the previous problems you can do the same idea okay let me go to the um, this one, three vectors are given. If they are in any dependent, show this. Otherwise, um, if they are in any dependent, show they are in any dependent. Otherwise, find the non trivial linear combination of them since they are in any dependent. Okay, let me start with something. I have three vectors in R3. And have three vectors in R3. So the determinant way will do it. So I do the determinant V1, V2, V3, 1, O1, 2 minus 3, 4, 3, 5, 2. See what will happen. That will be what? 1, 2, 3. This is already 0. Multiply by minus 1 and add, that will be 0. By minus 1 and add, that will be 2. By minus 1. And add, that will be minus 1. So this is, will be what? 3 minus 10 minus 7, not equal to 0. So they are linearly independent. It's very clear. 18. Do the same thing. 3, 0, minus 4. Minus 3, minus 6, 4. Minus 3, 2, 4. Okay. Yeah. I can interchange row three with row one, and then I divide by minus four. Okay. 
You know, I need to check it's zero or not. What I can do it with, with, with fraction. Actually, the fraction will, will, will be gone. OK, so this is. Multiply the first row by four over three. And add it to the third row. Yeah, that 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 that, that will make it. So I have what? Three minus three minus three, zero minus six, two. Four over three, that will be four minus four, that will be zero. That will be minus four plus four, that will be zero. Minus four over four, that will be zero. So for sure this determinant is zero, so they are linearly dependent. They are linearly dependent. Now I need to see the, the linear combination. So I'll do it this way. C1, I call it what? V1 plus C2, V2 plus C3, V3 equals zero. For sure, I'm getting zeros. I'm getting Cs, not all zeros. So I'll find this so I can find the, the linear combination of these three, three vectors. So I need to solve this system, which is this one, three, zero, minus four, minus three, minus six, four, minus three, two, four, zero, zero, zero. So uh, I multiply the last one by minus one over four. No, do the same idea. Yeah, that that uh, that will do it. Yeah, divide the first one by one over three. One minus one minus one, zero. Zero minus six to zero. I have minus four, 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 zero. Now multiply the first one by four and add it to the third one, the third row. That will be zero minus six to zero. That will be zero, zero, zero. OK. And this is zero. So I have these equations. I have called, called them C1. C1 minus two, two says so three equals zero. Minus six C2 plus C3 equals zero. So I can solve this. Can solve it for C3, huh? Uh, I need to avoid the fraction. So I have uh, 2C3 equals 6C2. So C3 equals 3C2. So I plug this there. So I'm getting C1 equals C2 plus C3. I have C3 in terms of C2, so I have 4C2. So I let C2 equal 1. So I have C1 equal 4 and C3 equal 3. So it means I have what? 4 V1 plus V2 plus 3 V3 equals 0. Yeah, if I, I want to write it, find an untrivial linear combination of them. That is equal to, to the 0 vector. So I have this. Or V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals 0. This is what I have. OK, last group of questions. Which actually we did with this something similar. If we have we have the vectors, he said these vectors are linearly independent. Actually, I have how many vectors? Yeah, sometimes I have V1. Yeah, in this case, I have two vectors. So he said 23. Given V1, V2 are linearly independent. This is given. Show. In new U, which is V1 plus V2, and this is U1, and U2, V1 minus V2. This given means what? F D1, if I have D1, V1 plus D2, V2 equal to zero, the only solution is that D1 equal D2 equal zero. And this is what I will use. Now to show U1, and U2 are linear independent. I will do what? C1 U1 plus C2 U2, and I will say no, these C's are zero. I will prove C, these C's are zero. So that means what? C1 U1, I have C1 V1 plus V2 plus C2 V1 minus V2 
is equal to zero. So I have what is in terms of V1, I have C1 plus C2 times V1 plus C1 minus C2 times V2 is equal to zero, which is similar to this. It means those constant, this should be equal to zero and this equal to zero. Since I have this, I have a constant times V1 plus a constant times V2 is equal to zero. And since they are linear independent, it means those constant are zeros. So I have C1 plus C2 equals zero, C1 minus C2 equal to zero, and I have two C1 equals zero, so C1 equals zero, so C2 equals zero. That means U1, U2 are linear independent. Let me do the same for 25, but I'm starting with three vectors, V1, V2, V3. Since I have V3, V2, V1, okay, are linear independent. This is given. Show U1, V1, U2, which is V1 plus 2, V2, and U3, which is V1 plus 2, V2 plus 3, V3, are linear independent. This means what? F D1, V1 plus D2, V2. I think we understand the trick. Plus three, with D3, V3 equal to zero. For sure, all of these Ds, all of these constants should be zero. This is what I will do. Now to show U1, U2, U3 are linear independent, I will start with C1, U1 plus C2, U2, plus C3, U3 equal to zero. And they will show this is the only possibility that this is should be zero. Okay, so we have what? C1 times V1 plus C2 times V1 plus 2 V2 plus D3, V1 plus 2 V2 plus 3 V3. That's equal to zero. So what is the coefficient of V1? I have C1 plus C2 plus C3. This is times V1. What is the coefficient of V2? I have 2C2 plus 2C3 times V2. For V3, I don't have it here. I have it at the end. I have 3C3 times V3 equal to 0. Since I have this constant times V1, this constant times V2, and V1 and V2 are 0, so it means all these, these are the these. So I have C1 and they have two, two C2 plus two C3 equal zero, and they have three C3 equal to zero. This is means C3 equal to zero. Plug it here, it means C2 equal to zero. Plug it here, it means C1 equal zero. So it means all the Cs are zero. That means in no, U1, U2, U3, are linear independent. Yeah, I think this is the last thing. The last yeah, group of questions which I will do. So now we finish 4.3. Let me stop the recording. Thank you.